Hey guys, Shadowjacker here. Uh, I'm just going to be doing an update here, and I had just ordered a figure offline, and it would be, no one has reviewed on YouTube yet, um, to be articulation-wise and sculpt and anything else possible. Now, the next, uh, will, it would be uh, Christmas Town Sora. That'd be the update. Um, he should be here in a few, uh, maybe two days or four. So he should be here on Monday or Tuesday, and that's when I'll be doing the review on him. So I will be getting, uh, I'll be getting Sora. It's um, the Christmas Town Sora. That means uh, the Square Enix figure. He, I got him on, I got him on a bargain for uh, thirty bucks. He actually is fifty dollars because he was of the Volume Two Limited Edition, and uh, I got him for thirty bucks. So what a great deal that was. Now he has. I believe 30 points of articulation. He comes with the decisive pumpkin keyblade, which is my favorite of all keyblades, and I cannot believe they have him. And plus, it's a Christmas suit that's not supposed to be red. It's actually black, and he looks like he's in cart crazy town. Like it's crazy because it's just the way the figure is in the sculpt of how cool it looks. <clears throat> now I already have a uh, done rocks review, but um, I've deleted it a long time ago. But Kingdom Hearts figure would be my favorite one, which would be coming in the mail, which would be um, Christmas Town Sora. Now, why is because I do not have the video game, which would be the um, the mix, uh, final mix. I do not have the video game, and I have an Xbox, which I'm about to get rid of because I'm sick of Halo Reach already. It's just really boring because video games, if they take over your life, and it's been really, uh, if they're just really taking over your life, it's not really going to get you anywhere. It's just it doesn't. Um, they just control you, and I know that some people can handle it, but for me, it's just I keep on playing, and I always get in trouble just because I play video games, and people just don't understand. So, I mean, not that uh, it's not fun. It's just we just keep on killing and killing and killing and killing, and there's no other games out there that are fun. Like, you know, there's some games when I was a kid that I actually had fun with. So um, I'm just about to get, ready to my, get rid of my Xbox, get a 100 and something dollars, and just get my money back. Because, and then I'll just buy something else. Uh, I don't know what to get, but I'm hoping to get something else that's a little more interesting. Um, I don't know what to get, though. Probably, I know I'm going to get like 100 bucks, so I'm probably going to end up like just uh, some, something. But I'll just put the cash away and then just go buy some Halo figures. Because I know at uh, Toys R Us that um, they've got the Warthogs. They have two Warthogs. <clears throat> they have the last collector's box there that they said the last one would be shipped in. Um, so, yeah, they have the collector's box. Um, they have the two warthogs. They have, like, five ghosts. And the ghosts actually look pretty sick. But, you know, it doesn't... The ghosts don't look really cool because it doesn't have wheels. And plus, you can't really fit three characters on a ghost. So the warthog would be a better decision to put. But the only thing is is that the warthog is, like, ginormous. It's, like, it's huge. Like, this large. I mean, the Spartans are only, like, this tall. I mean, they're not going to be that big in scale. I mean, the Warthogs aren't that giant. Just saying. I mean, if you want to go on a Halo Ridge video game and jump into a Warthog, it's not that huge. Ugh. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'll be uh, doing uh, Christmas Town Sora, and that would be my review. Uh, or preview right now. Uh, he should be here in four days, and countdown awaits because it will be the first one to review him. So, uh, if any of you guys are um, Kingdom Hearts fans, you just um, if you have any questions, then be more than happy because I'm starting because the Halo figures. Um, I was going to get the Warthog, but it just doesn't seem really. I don't know. It just the Halo the Halo series isn't really. It doesn't really interest me right now, because they're starting to make Square, uh, Square Enix um, or uh, SH Arts um, Halo figures, which means um, all articulation. So they're going to be making all all those ones with articulation now, and uh, you know they're just going to be a new size. Well, they're probably going to be a little more taller, like maybe five five uh, the feet of what the figure would be, or like it would be like five inches tall. Uh, and probably it's actually gonna look like the care. It looked like you know the figures from right the series, and it's got all the articulation and everything. But the thing is, it takes away from the whole entire Mc McFlaren series. So what's the point of that? Even though I mean they're gonna be cool and all, but it's kind of stupid. 
Oh yeah, and then later on, um, I think I have ordered, <clears throat> I have ordered um, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, um, the first Super Saiyan 2 Gohan ever to be, ever to be released. Um, I all my life I have been looking for a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan because he was the coolest looking figure. He looks so epic just with his hair. Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan against in the Cell Sagas. That was the only thing I was looking for. I, I couldn't care less about any other figure because they were so original. Um, he was the only... All they made was a Super Saiyan 1. They didn't make a Super Saiyan 2. But the Super Saiyan 2 is the one I want so badly. And then finally, it's 2010, and then they make one with all the articulation, and finally... And it's $50. What a ripoff. Because toys shouldn't be $50. Toys should be at least 10 to $20. They should not be $50, $70 range. And if, um, if you're watching this video, do not go to Toy Wiz, because Toy Wiz is a rip-off. I've been ripped off so many times, and it's not because of my luck, it's just I get ripped off so many times. Plus, um, their prices for figures are $70 to $100. Just for one little figure, that could break, and that's $100 right there. So, uh, they're a rip-off, and they're just figures. They're not, I know they've got all the decent, um, the decent articulation and the coloring and whatever, but, you know, you could... Go get a crappy figure and then make your own for 10 bucks. I mean, seriously, and just go buy the supplies. No big deal. But if I were you, but just don't go to Toy Wiz because they are rip-off. Rip-off. Um, so, yeah, that's my pretty much my review on my Kingdom Hearts. I'm going to... He should be here. I just wanted to do a little preview because I haven't made a video. So, um, he should be here soon, and I cannot wait because he's going to be one of probably the most um, best figures I've, I'm going to get yet. And I'll see you guys later.